Hey folks, this is Decoherent and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So, um, I dropped my skill points in, um, it wasn't very interesting, it looks like I clipped it out. I did, however, get the one that lets me open things that only require a one lockpick for free, so... Clever. Light Assault Rifle. Yay. Um, I don't want it at the moment. I really wish that I could store stuff in those stupid lockers, but, I don't know. Apparently I haven't got that figured out yet, but I want to go to space. So we're gonna go to space. GLaDOS, Welcome take us to space. Captain. All systems are now operating within acceptable parameters. Shall I take our ship into orbit? Yes, let's do it. It's supposed to do that, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's sort of majestic. Hey, at least it flies. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh. Um, sure, been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. Mm -hmm. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Meh, it's quick. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly <laughs> normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Um... I've been feeling a little lightheaded, plus I can, uh, you know, uh, slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Good. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. Mm. We are dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The board. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. Thaw, right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll mm. help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Without liquefaction. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Um, why do I need a nav key to land on a planet, exactly? I don't really understand this. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed badly. Oh. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Hmm. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. <laughs> Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Air Hence, quotes. Miss Gladys Kelly. Okay. Right. The Black Marketer. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. All right. Um. Um. I don't feel like ditching. I've, I'm a little invested in this, but you know what is stopping me from just ditching you guys and leaving besides my own sense of morality? Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make oh, it to the right. nearest Oh, that's right. It's star. broken. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. Well, at least we're together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Okay. Sure, I'll go talk to her. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology oh. years ahead of its time. I okay. call it the holographic shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. All right. I'll put it to good use, but can you explain to me what it is first? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Ah, so a shroud. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. And by limits, you mean... Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Hmm. So it's a MacGuffin. 
And these limitations would be... Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Okay. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Ah. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Oh. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. I like running and jumping. Alright. Why do we need a gadget for this? Can I just go steal a uniform or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? <laughs> the holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Oh. All right. Okay, I'll put it to good use. Thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Okay. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. Mm. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Um, okay, got it. And this would be the navigation terminal? Ooh, cool, look! More space. Very nice. This is a very busy system here. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go walk around. We've got like a holographic shroud to look at. Like... Ah, check this out. Lockers are unlocked. R. Oh, thank God I can put some stuff in here. Okay. Okay. Hold, please. All right. Oh, good. Now I've got all those weapons and stuff in there that I didn't really want to, like, get rid of. But yet, like, were really weighing me down. Okay, so let's go check out the cabins. Are these finally unlocked now? This must be mine. That guy is super creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that is just weird. Okay, nice cozy bunk. Um, terminal. Holographic shroud. Alright. Um, project to disguise you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge. Okay. I don't know how to use it, to be honest, but I'll, I'll deal with that. Uh, let's take a look at our terminal. Uh, messages? Um, this is gonna be a ton of these. I'm gonna pop these up on screen, and I'm gonna let you read them. A shrink ray, you see. I like the idea of a shrink ray. That would be kind of cool. Hammer power. Um, let's see here. A mad scientist made a discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Um, something about the hammer's power or something. Okay, that's pretty weird. Um, the black market leads. Why won't Wells just give me the shrink ray? <laughs> Blast him to the depths of the labyrinth and torture and Tartarus and back. Okay. I did apologize for shouting him down five times, but it's just sitting there neglected and gathering dust. I I would really like a shrink ray. Okay. That would be awesome. I like shrink rays. A sentry saber, you say. Alright. And, ah, I can put things in here, too. So what's the saber? Garbage. Um, we're just, whoa, crap. We're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna break it down. There's the button. Yep. That's the name of the damn saber. Why would I want a saber? That's Let silly on at home, Captain. Uh, thank you. I shall. Um <laughs> You taught them an important lesson. Never dream. Alright, so that's my cabin. 
And let's take a look up here at all these other places now. Hi! Sam. What exactly are you? There's no response from the auto mechanical unit. A serial number etched in its chassis includes the letters Sam. Huh. Okay. Well, that's kind of weird, but okay. Alright, and now we've got what? Level ahead, yep. Oh, crap, more stuff in here. Parvati's father. Oh, so this is where she's settled in. Um, so I'm stealing her stuff. Um, let's see here. The modern steel wrench in you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna leave this alone. That's her stuff. She's cool. Okay, and this is the vicar's room. This one is currently uninhabited. Okay. As is this. As is this. Uh, let's chat with the vicar quick. Uh, welcome aboard. As always, I am at your disposal. Mm hmm. Anything you'd like to discuss? Um. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay, I'm gonna step through this whole tree. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run of the mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Hmm. Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town, much like Edgewater. Oh? I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. Infected? My passion didn't sit well with them. That's weird. Why were you so passionate about it? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them, regardless of the situation. Scientism. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. All right. Um... What is the deal with your crazy religion? The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Oh, oh, everything yeah, okay. flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Mm. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. So you're looking for a grand unified theory and you turn that into a religion. Okay, that's pretty weird. Yes. Um. So what, what, what's up with that book? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. All right. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Okay. Um, do you know I might find someone who can speak French? There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Okay. All right. How do we find him? That's a good question. Well, thank we you. should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. Hephaestus and Scylla, All huh? I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. All right. All right, and how will that help us track down your friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Okay. Sounds good. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. Mm. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and oh. taught myself a bit about computronic security Computronic. Systems. 
Uh. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Captain. Sure. Sounds fine. Um. Okay. I'm sorry, he has an enormous conversation tree, and I can't bring myself to go through it right now. What I will do is, I will maybe try to go through all those and append it later, but... I don't know. Oh, all kinds of stuff in here. So much stuff. What is this? And why is it wet? Oh, it's the bathroom, which apparently does not work well. Okay. Sounds good. And what's going on down here? N nothing at the moment. Where'd my engineer go? There you are. How's everything going? Sometimes I can hear Vickers saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. Uh, okay. Well, never mind. That was weird. Well, let's go fly somewhere. Screw this place. And by this place, I mean lower of it. Let's go somewhere. We kind of have a plan, and I don't know. We'll go try and implement it. It, would, you know, it could be entertaining. And have we talked to everybody else? Oh, yeah. Now, where's that holographic shroud? Okay, so I do have... Oh, the vicar. Hello. So I can switch between you guys pretty easily. So you've got a shotgun. Oh, neat. Okay, that's good to know. And you've got perks available. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. So this holographic shroud, do I need to... Is there like a button for it? Inspect. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Captain's identification. Alright, let's go somewhere. Ooh. So we can go to Phineas's lab. Monarch, Tartarus, Typhon, Terra 2. The Groundbreaker is apparently where we're supposed to be headed. So let's do it. Off we go. Destiny. Welcome to the system map. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay. The groundbreaker. Ooh, hello. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go take a look. Can we talk? Sure, what's up? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Oh? Well, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. All right. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Okay. Sure. Um... Sure. Um, yeah. We can head over to engineering. That's no problem. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, I don't think so. Nope, I'm good. So, I have some quests that require different companions. Oh, that's interesting. So, introduce Pravati to this. Use the security terminal with Vicar Max. Oh, I can ask Ada about the SAM unit. I didn't know that. So, GLaDOS, what, what is that thing up there? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? So what's up with your robot that's all broken? The unit is a cleaning SAM. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. Uh -huh. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify SAM. Okay. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for SAM to properly operate. Okay. Sure. May luck be with you. Of course, <laughs> as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. Exactly. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. I wonder if she can cook. Um, let's go book that other terminal super quick. Let's see if there's anything in there that was... I just didn't read carefully enough. Because I wouldn't mind having, you know, my own robot. Oh, yeah, there we go. Search term, Sam. All right. Um, don't forget you found a discarded sanitation and, and maintenance auto mechanical in the scrap heap. Shouldn't be too difficult to get up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat-capable variant. Yes. Um, removal of Fractory Standard Sud Steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part Acid Steeper has been delayed. Progress is set back, estimated now for a solid three months. Okay. 
Um, I've given up hope on delivery. The part is lost in transit, and it's not turning up anytime soon. But, good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker, who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an asset sweeper I can, well, steal. The part was sent to an old storage facility on Roseway. I never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this next pick stop back to Emerald Vale. Okay. So, that's another option, too. But we have many, many options available to us. Yeah. This is great. Okay. But let's, um... Let's go talk to Gladys first. Just to kind of get the lay of the land. And then we'll start embarking on little side quests after that. Yeah, someone we'll take Parvati. Oh, I can select up to two. Well, hot damn. Everybody gets to come with. Hold on, then. Uh, the vicar needs a better gun. And I have... I have a lot of guns. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I guess all that I really have that's better than what he has... ...is this plasma rifle. I don't know if it's better or not. Why don't you carry it, though? Because it is pretty cool. And we'll toss one of these sawed-off shotguns back in there. I don't know why I have two on me anyway. So, that's no problem. All right, let's do this. Oh, I forgot to give them weapons and armor or whatever. Shoot, I forgot about that. What are you even rocking for armor? Uh, nothing. Oh, actually, your vestments are awesome. Do you just want kind of a standard helmet? Intimidate plus three? Yeah, why don't you wear a cool helmet? Oh, yeah. Nothing says church like a helmet like that. Hi. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. I know. Welcome to space. All right. And can I set you guys a little... Okay. Distance. Medium. Weapon mixed. Mode aggressive. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's probably fine. Yeah, that's okay. All right. This place is pretty cool looking. That's not the point. The attack just knocked out one of my workers. Wow. I like it quite a bit. You guys mind if I steal things? Yeah, you might. Um, I'll wait till I'm a little better at stealing stuff. Hello? Identification, please. Um, here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Uh-oh. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Oh. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. That didn't take long. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Okay, so how do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. All right. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. <laughs> All right. I take it this happens a lot. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Really? Surely this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. Hmm. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. Bureaucrats. Man named Udom Bedford. All right. Well, I'll go talk to him and try to get this drained out. You take the starch out of him. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. All right. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Maybe. Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Okay. Her shipment of what? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't Ooh. know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. No problem. Much appreciated. I want one. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, I'm looking for someone named Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. All right. Make sure you bring an empty belly. I've got three of them. Um, a job. 
Uh, so it seems like there's some tension between the board and the groundbreaker right now. You noticed, huh? I'm sharp. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. Well, it's understandable. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. <laughs> folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. Hmm. Well, that's good. Um, I'm glad it terrifies them. Keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. Hmm. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. Hmm. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. Hmm. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Okay. All right. Sounds good. See you around. Be seeing you. I'll figure out jobs and other stuff like that. Like I said, first I want to find, uh... First I want to find the person I'm supposed to talk to. Um, Udom's that way. But I'm looking for Gladys. Um, a new quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. This is it. Security. I can check the departures register to find out which crew chip, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. Alright. I don't suppose you're going to let me in and poke at that stuff? I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Hmm. Here we go again. No one lives oh. on Monarch. It's a waste. A Marted ID cartridge. Okay. Is that the right one to enter in here? Hello? Restricted access, authorized personnel only. I don't want to be shot on sight. I don't know, I don't know what is, what is it that I have? <laughs> um... I don't know who Hammersmith Mardot is. You know, it takes more muscles Let's find out. Holographic disguise activated. Okay, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shrouds area. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, I don't want to kill anybody. Where's the computer terminal you need? Looking sharp. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, so you can see the shroud on the bottom. So where is the terminal that you were talking about, dude? Maybe I should actually go back out here for a second and get his quest active. <laughs> Sorry, I'm hoping my mute button is working today because I am just like hacking. It's making it hard to keep track of what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> So, my side quest here, um, which was this one. Let's make that active. And the terminal's right there. Okay. So, I think we're set. Do 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 do. Nobody notices me. Let's go poke at the computer. Where is it? Do I have to really pick a lock to get through there? Great. Um,. Crap. Right. I saw that. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. I'm just poking at the door. Nothing whatsoever. Just don't make more paperwork for me, alright? Alright. Maybe I shouldn't like unlock doors when there's people looking. Nicely done. Thanks. And that did not lead me to the terminal I wanted. Okay, so I just wasn't paying enough attention in here. You don't mind me stealing this stuff, do ya? Ooh, look at all this stuff. Ooh, a plasma rifle. Again. Okay, so where is... Why is this not letting me select the terminal? Like, where is it? 
Is it in through here? I can't get that open at the moment. I don't have enough parts, and yeah, I see my number dropping rapidly. All right, let's let's step out of the restricted area here. This is not working as well as I'd hoped. Okay, so the plasma rifle isn't as good as mine. Well, okay, so I can't get in there. So let's not worry about that. So first, let's go find our person. Let's go find Gladys. This way. Very pretty. People are going to get really upset when I start stealing things. I wonder if I can, like, throw things to distract them and so on. Hello? This is Halcyon News. What's up, guys? Um, this isn't really where I intended to go, but it's kind of cool. Uh, nice to meet y'all. That looked like it squished something when it landed, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, no one cares about this stuff. Okay. Bard. Ah. I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe this giant obvious door? Oh! Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Okay. Alright. Well done. Rest and go. Yep, this is where I'm headed. Spacer's Choice, The Lost Hope. Oh. Alright. Well, let's see if we can find our new friend. Can we run it up here, Cool. Uh, no, you may not. You're not renting any rooms, as far as I know. Hello. I'm supposed to come meet you. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Hello. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Is it... Just like store-bought. Uh, is it human bodies? Yep. Uh, Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen then. For us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Mm-hmm. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. Hmm. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Go on. Whoa, 10,000. Okay, so tell me about this uh, opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. That's me. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Nope. No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. Mm -hmm. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place. Oh, uh, we've heard of that. That's already cropped up. Um... For the Sam quest line, right? So why was that place abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Hmm. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I can't get there. I mean, I'm in, but I can't use my ship right now. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Much obliged. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Hmm. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. I love rumor mongering. Abandon all post, corporate secrets, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I expect a cookie. Um... Actually, while I'm doing stuff, what other jobs do you know about? You might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You have a heat problem? You'll find her fretting in engineering. 
I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for Fen someone call me a liar. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what do you have for trade? Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. I'm not your buddy, pal. Hmm. Okay. Well, I forgot to mod my armor and stuff like that. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll we'll check on that later. That's fine. Um, interesting. So let's take a look at our journal here, because now we actually have we have several quests to go talk to the same people. Let's see here. Let's see where engineering is. Or, no, wait, actually. Stay on target. Let's go find um, Udom Bedford and see what his deal is. And he is located this direction. Let's go chat with him. I mean, I don't really care what he has to say, but I'd like to kind of get the lay of the land. And then, honestly, I need to go find some place where I can start shooting people. Because chatting is all well and good, but what I really want to do is start shooting people. I really like shooting people. Ah, this place. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Hello. Yeah, no one nice wants to see you. Ah, the board. Hello. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. Hello. You must be the captain of the unreliable. A vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. No, yes I am. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Um. 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 I don't, nobody really cares about him. Why did you impound my ship? I impounded Alex's ship. Not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. Damn straight. It's a... A game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Ah. Around and around we go. Okay. Well, anyway, about my ship. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. No. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. Huh. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. No, Did but Alex okay. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Mm, no. He never mentioned Phineas Wells, quite frankly. I did squish that's, him. Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. And that amazing mustache oh, with it. I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? You're not like the jackass I expected, like, at all. Um, so why is the board going to be so upset with you? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Go on. Stop playing coy, seriously, dude. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. Well, okay. Did you want me to win your trust? Like, are we doing something like that here? I don't... I don't know if you're coming on to me, man. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... Well, it's my white whale, I suppose. White whale. Alright, sorry, I can't tell you where it's he fine. is. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. Will do. I'd like to drown myself in work. Interesting. Okay, we're out. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to turn him in. That would be stupid. You know, why would I want to do that? Okay. So, now our ship is unlocked. But that doesn't really help us because I need 10,000 bits. We could go investigate the distress signal. We could um, go talk to the people in engineering. Which would be kind of cool. We could just grab our guns and start shooting everything at random. That would be fun too. Auntie's kitchen, yeah. Um, well, I don't want to go in there. Picking locks is not going to make anyone like me. How do I get over there? Um, 
Ooh, an armory. Hello. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe. Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. That's not how that works. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. All right. Let's see what you got. Um, all kinds of things that I don't particularly need or want. Look at, look at these swords. That's cool. A cleaver. Neat. None of these are really much better than anything we have at the moment. How about your armor? Your armor, on the other hand, is a little more interesting. Tempting. I'll remember that. I'm not spending any money right now, but it's good to know. How do I get to engineering, anyway? Is it through this big obvious door? And then over here? To this obvious person? Be more machinery. Hello? Be housed on a... June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Last person I'll talk to, I promise. Hello? I am captain of the unreliable, recently unshackled from the Groundbreaker's impound. Good for you. Hope you scared some sense into those bureaucrats giving you trouble. Meh. No. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Nothing that you will hear about. Um... <laughs> Salute. Copy that, Chief. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working <laughs> brain cells. I wouldn't go that so far. brings you to Groundbreaker. I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Um, I'm passing through. Um... Let's just tell her. Now that we're out of Impound, I am heading for Monarch at some point. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. I like weapons. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. No. So welcome aboard. Thanks. Um, Parvati, you wanted to talk to her. Uh, go ahead and say hi. What? I didn't think you just... <laughs> Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. You worry me. Junlei is fine. Mm, keep talking. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Cool. Well, that's nice. Encourager. Yeah, yeah. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... <laughs> Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. You're a weird lady. <laughs> nice job. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Oh, that's me. Moral now, support. if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. All right. Um, actually, it seems kind of warm in here. Someone's already mentioned that. What's going on with that? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Well, that's not good. Uh, well, I'm sure your capable staff can stay ahead of that problem. My engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels, but all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. You shouldn't have festering wounds. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. So, is there no room for compromise? I could steal them. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. Hmm. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Well, you won't be alive for long. Um, seems like you need a contractor to work this out. I am available for reasonable rates. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. I'm cheap. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Okay. Back bays. And where is that? Sorry. I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck. Long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Ooh, I bet I can shoot them. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Have you tried uh, sending anyone else down there? 
I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Oh, there's going to be shooting for I sure. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. None taken. <laughs> nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. No problem. All right. Sure. I'll get those parts for you. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Wonderful. Sounds great. All right. And now we're going to take a break. Um, when we come back, I'm really hoping that I'm actually going to go follow this quest line because I didn't even get to shoot anything at all this time. Nothing. This was all talking. And talking is fine in its own way, but it's not shooting. So, on that note, let's take a break. Thanks for watching. See you next time.